you reckon? What do you think? Some wheels? I think some wheels. Some modern day Lexus wheels. Check what car in today. Lexus ES300. And look at this one. Look at all the things that I've taken out. Radio is out. It doesn't work for some reason. I'm trying to find out what's going on here. So I have to remove all this stuff just to get it out of there. Oh, look at all this. It's had so many issues. So I'm just fixing it all up. Ashtray, cup holder that goes in here. It's all come out. Um, glove compartment is out. There it is over there in the back. All the little bits and pieces. It's a pretty good car. It's in good condition, but it needs some work. It's got how many kilometers on the clock? Um, let me check this. Let's see if I can get it to show. There we go. 168,545 kilometers on the clock odometer. It's a V6. Now, all this is out as well. It's a little bit of a project car. I'm not sure what I'm doing with it. Uh, I might just fix it up and sell it. I might drive it for a couple of weeks just to enjoy it before I do sell it. I do like playing around with cars. So I've had this for a while. It's just been sitting in my uh, collections of cars. Probably uh, had on probably six, seven months. Yeah, probably about seven months. I bought it at the same time as a as the red Mercedes Benz that you may have seen in my other videos. It's pretty clean this one. That's the only reason I bought it. It was so clean. Look, it's even got a radio. Boy, come on. Old school radio. How do I get it? There we go. It's not working right now. But it does make it does make some noise, so it, it is work. It works, but there's no um, network connection here. It's got a center console. Uh, what do you call it? A uh, armrest. Now here's the radio that I've taken off. It's a CD stacker in the boot. 12 CD stacker with a cassette player and radio at the front. So what I'm going to do is, because like, there's no sound coming out of it at all, like through the speakers, all it's making is a hissing noise. No music comes out. So I'm thinking that I might just try another one of these. So I'm going to try and go to Wrecker and find one. I hope I can find one because they're a bit difficult to find these ones. There's so many Corollas and Camrys here, but not so many of these particular um, old... It's a 1992 Lexus ES300, so there's not many of them. It's got sunroof. It's the early version. Actually, it's, I think this was the first ES300 they actually made for Australia, that actually got delivered to Australia. I don't know if there was any other ones before this one, but it's pretty nice, I like it. It's in really good condition. All I've got to do is put everything back together fix the radio and I'm done the other thing I did fix I'll just show it to you now with this radio what I'm doing is actually before I go further I'm trying to split the radio from the climate control because this climate control works so what I'm trying to do is just to split the leave the climate control and just take the radio out so I can actually you know, maybe open this radio and see what's what's going on inside. Maybe it's an amplifier. Or I'll just get another one of these. I'll just get another one of these and replace it straight swap. Now, the other thing I was going to say is that this car has already cost me some money. Soon after buying it, it started running really rough. It started running really, really rough. It started misfiring. And what it was, because I tried, I tried to fix it myself, and I couldn't fix it. I changed the distributor. I changed the 
the spark plugs, the leads, the rotor arming, the distributor, and it was still misfiring. Eventually I gave up and I gave it to a diagnostic technician, an auto technician, and what it was, he found that it was actually in the ECU, which is that one there, and then over here you got the automatic uh, transmission. Oh, let me just see if I can reach it over there. Oh, I'm having difficulty reaching. Let me see if I can reach it and show it to you. Right here, you've got your ECU, which is behind the glove compartment. So if you're really curious and you don't know where things are on this particular model, take out the glove compartment and right behind the glove compartment is your engine management system, ECU, which is right here with all the connections. And right next to it is, I believe, uh, this is the automatic, trans uh, automatic transmission uh, module or controller it's a it's a transmission management system i guess it controls all your shifts and all that stuff in there and i don't know what the other things are but there's other things in there you have to look in your manual there's another box here i don't know what that is here it could be let me see if i can get in there a bit closer what does that say that is a theft right? no Theft warning. So that's your alarm system or your alarm control security system anyway. Down here you got some plugs, connections, and maybe a couple of relays. And down here you've got your fan motor. This is where they are connected, the fan. For your heater, your vent. And behind here you've got your AC box here and your heater box probably in there too or your heater core ah so just a quick uh and just down here if you haven't seen under there you can have a look in there too your shift cables that go down to your gearbox uh, in the window there at the top you got your antenna that's probably for your um, telephone in the ceiling right there near the, on the window. Little black one with white, uh, lines going across. With the lines going across here. Anyway, so let me get back to what I was really here for. Is uh, I'm going to try to get down to the wrecker at some point today. If possible, before work. And what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to unscrew all of these, take them off, take them all off, and take it, get down to the wrecker, get one of these. The other option actually I do have is to actually take this stereo system, this whole thing, and just take it to a technician and see if they can repair it. That is an option which I am trying not to practice because that is a costly it's a more costly thing to do to repair this I can imagine it's gonna cost me like three hundred dollars maybe even more oh no my screws gone down there oh, damn it let me pause the video so I can get that before I lose it so now I've split them here we go climate control Separate. Now, now my options. 
options are I'm going to get this maybe open up myself and maybe just have a quick peek inside and see if I can find the amplifier maybe even identify where it's gone wrong it might be possible but that's my last result if I cannot find another one that's what I'll do Fujitsu so it's made by Fujitsu for Toyota as you all know it's a Lexus but it's owned by Toyota and all this stuff gives it away and at the front it says Lexus but on top it says Toyota and it says Fujitsu hmm okay serial number 910031 so really the other option would be to the other option oh yeah my brother did suggest that the other option you know, he was so let, he let me know and reminded me on this that I could just put an aftermarket comp uh, stereo system here and that will solve everything. But then I'm spending for a good one that you know that, that I'll be happy with and that suits the car, I'll be spending a lot of money, say $300, just to buy one to fit here plus some connections wiring to make it you know fit this one and then I lose the functionality of the CD stacker in the boot that is a downside and I'm not doing that I, would, I don't want to lose functions I want to <clears throat> I want to improve on the car not degrade it so this one I must have my CD stacker it has to work no matter what it's gotta work yeah, it's not automatic closing, I should have. Alright. So that's the reason I'm actually going to try and get another one of these. Because I don't, I don't want to lose the function of the CD stacker. That is to me very important. I like my functions. I'm going to switch this thing off. I'm going to head off. Oh, look at that. Did you probably didn't notice that. Let me do that again. Steering is locked. I mean, is um, on, is unlocked. When you switch it off, this is what actually happens. <laughs> that was pretty interesting. It moves out of the way for you. All right, here we go. <sighs> oh damn! Oh damn! I forgot to close the window. Got to close the window, the side door window. Can't just leave the car open. So here we are. This is my other project car that I'm working on. Here we go. Put that there for now. And it needs a really good wash. It's uh, we had a really bad, bad rain, really dirty rain a couple of days ago, and it just brought down so much sand. Look at that, so much dust it just went everywhere. Put it over there. Let's go. Boom. modern day Lexus wheels keep the theme of the whole Lexus put some Lexus wheels or should I put aftermarket wheels I don't know I'm back home finished work long day at work today and uh, as I said before I was looking for the radio for the for the Lexus uh, no luck. I went to one junkyard. I went, I took probably about an hour walking through there. Could not find one Lexus even close to mine. 
they're all different and they didn't have any radios systems as good as or even like mine so great disappointment no parts for the lexus and um so i'm gonna try maybe tomorrow and go to another place and have another look at another place um i had no time to go looking for for this thing uh i could only go to one place and that was as much time as i had then i had to go to work now i've finished work it is let me just see if you can sh look at that time it's night time right now here and this camera is a little bit bright uh it's night time now i don't even feel like doing this anymore until tomorrow but i'm really curious to find out what what's actually gone wrong with this thing so what i decided to do was to open up the um the cd player and then when i opened it up i'll just quickly show it to you this is the this is a unit here it controls cd it's upside down obviously I just turn it over here like so so you can actually see it properly so yeah it uh, controls the cd tape fm and am and a cassette player volume control here i don't know if this volume control is any good but it's a volume control for the on and off or power on and power off combination switch with the volume control now the interesting thing about this one obviously if, if you haven't already noticed it's got these buttons on this particular lexus that retract and press in when you finish using them you just press them in and then they twist like so for your band adjustment and you press them in when you're done now um yeah so let's get back to this unit i don't know if these are important so i'll just show them to you anyway some of the specs and details of the the unit that goes into this particular kind of uh, Lexus, Dolby. Yeah, it's got a, it's got Dolby a Laboratory Licensing Corporation. Okay. Anyway, that's just a filtering system. Here we go. So now, what I've done is I've actually taken um, part of the unit. I've actually opened it. And there it is. And this is the panel that goes in like so. So these tracks need to be re these tracks need to be um, repaired most likely. Uh, that component looks a bit funny. It's leaning over. I think it's also gone. This component is gone. It's leaning over because it's actually pushing from underneath. Yeah, there's something wrong with that one. Boy, oh boy. There's a lot of components there. So it looks like a lot of those uh, red um, capacitors are dead. Most of them. Even this side here, they all start to melt underneath. They've all gone dark. This one's getting dark underneath here. That one too. That one too. That one and that one. They all need to go. Wow! 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 See how they look like there, compared to these nice clean ones. Actually, they're not that clean compared to these clean ones. Underneath, it's all clean. Where's those ones? Not so good. They're all going dark underneath. These ones are good here. Oh, that track is not good. Look at that corrosion. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, folks, I don't know if I can fix this. Uh, it might be beyond what I am prepared to do to get this thing back. A uh, bit of a challenge, a bit of a challenge. Anyway, um, let you know how I go with this. Uh, probably in the next video because this one is getting way too long. Thank you. See you. Uh, good luck with your electronic endeavors and repairs if you're trying to do something similar to mine, to yours. You know, if you're trying to do the same thing to yours, good luck with yours. But um, this is a very big problem. Oh, hang on. Yeah, this power amplifier also is fried. Look at that. These ones are not good. That's not good. It's all fried. There we go. These ones are not good. I didn't see them. Ooh, look at the track. Fried. Fried. Honestly fried. Look at that. Tracks. Diodes. Burnt. Ay 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 ay. The power amplifier is burnt too. Boy, oh boy, wow. This, this is a lot of work, it's a lot of work.